Hello everyone. We will continue the topic internal table operations. And in the previous video, we studied append internal table operation. And with the help of append, we inserted five records to the internal table. Now we need to display these five records. Our five records are in which internal table? LT underscore data. We need to display these five records. Now I will display these five records using loop internal table operation. If you remember, we already covered the topic loop and at that time we covered do loop we cover while loop and I told you in the future, we have a loop at internal table also. Now we will go for loop at internal table. Firstly, what is loop? What is loop at internal table? Now loop is a internal table operation which will read the records of the internal table one by one. Why, why we are going for loop? Because loop will read the records one by one from the internal table. Now golden, golden rule. Our internal table has how many records as of now? Five records. If I will apply a loop on this internal table. So loop will continue how many times? Five times. It will read the record one by one and we will display. It will read the first record. We will display. It will read the second record. We will display. Similarly for third, fourth and fifth record. Yes. So now we are covering loop, loop. We already covered do loop and while loop. Now we are covering loop at internal table. And whenever you are going for loop at internal table, how many times that loop will continue? Suppose my internal table has 500 records. Then my loop will continue how many times? 500 times. If my internal table has 800 records, so my loop will continue how many times? 800 times. In our current scenario, my internal table, our internal table has how many records? Five records. So loop will continue how many times? Five times. So with the help of loop, we will read the records one by one from the internal table. Now again, again, golden rule. What is work area? Work area process the records of internal table one by one. When we inserted, yes, we inserted through work area. Whenever we will display, again, we will display through work area only. It means from the internal table, one by one, we will pass the record to work area and we will display, yes. Because what is work area? Work area process the records of internal table. But how many at a time? Only one at a time. So now I will write the syntax and you will 100% understand the concept. I am writing loop at. What is the name of internal table? LT data into. Into is a keyword. And what is the name of work area? LWA data. And I am using dot. You all know how to end a line using dot. This is a keyword loop at. And this into is also a keyword. Now for every loop, there is a end loop. If you remember, for every if, there is a end if. For every case, there is an end case. Now for every loop, there is an end loop. So we put a loop on the internal table. This loop will continue how many times? 
five times it will continue. So first record will go to work area. Second record will go to work area. Third record, fourth record, fifth record. And now we need to display display. Now you all know how to display, we have a keyword, we have a statement, write, write. With the help of write, you can display the records. Now, do not use write statement outside the loop because we want to display all the records. So write statement should be inside the loop. I will write, write. Write is a keyword, tap. I am using colon. Colon is a chain operator and slash. Slash means the output, new output will always print. The output will print in a new line. What is work area? LWA data. What is first column you want to print? O N O comma. What is work area? Second column payment. Many starting where those who are freshers, they will do the mistakes here. See, one by one, the record is going to work area. So you are displaying with the help of work area. With the help of work area. I will apply pretty printer. Now you can see code properly indented. All keywords are in capital. I'll check the syntax and I will act. For the best understanding, I will show you in debugging so that you can understand that how loop is continuing five times and it is displaying the records. So I'll put a breakpoint on loop statement and I will show you. I'm executing. I'll go to desktop. What is the name of internal table? LT underscore data. And you can see we have how many record? Five records. What is work area? LWA underscore data. So this loop will continue five times. Now I will go for firstly, I'm on which particular line? 43. Now, if you see work area, work area is blank as of now. Now, I'm executing this loop for the first time, for the first time. I'm doing F6. You can see I'm inside the loop. And from the internal table, first record went to what? Per area. Just see this internal table. What is the first record in the internal table? 1 and C. This 1 and C went to what? Work area. If I will show you the work area. What is work area? O and no. One. What is the payment mode? C. And you are displaying this. You can see one and C. And you are displaying through which particular statement? Right. One time done. Now you can see I am on second iteration of the loop. Now I am inside the loop. Just to F6, F6. Those who don't know debugging. Just as of now, understand F6 is line by line execution. Now, second record from the internal table went to work area. You can see. Second record. What is second record? 1 and D. Just see here. In the work area, now we have what? 1 and D. And we are displaying this. Now, third record. Third iteration of the loop. And you can see this third record from the internal table will go to work area. And you can see what is work area O and no 2. And what is work area payment mode C. You can see like this also. Now we are displaying third record. Now fourth iteration of the loop. Now fourth record is processing. So this fourth record is moved from internal table to work area and we are displaying to ND. Now we have fifth iteration of the loop. Now this fifth record from the internal table went to work area 3 and C. 3 and 
C. Now, if I will simply, simply come out from the debugging, if I will simply come out, you can see we have five records in the output. Yes. And this is the what we inserted five records to the internal table and we displayed five records using loop statement. And I showed you in the debugging mode. For a better understanding on the debugging, you can refer the playlist for the debugging. Now, what is the summary of the video? What we studied in this particular video, we studied one more internal table operation now. That is loop. What is loop? Loop is reading the records of internal table one by one. Yes, if internal table has thousand records, loop will continue thousand times. If internal table has two thousand records, loop will continue two thousand times. Now, in the next video, we will go for more internal table operations. That's it in this video. Thank you.